experience. We pray that things are well with you and that you find all things well in your homes. And, and as we come to you this morning, we just want to have just a few moments of prayer before we worship. We're excited about being in worship today. Um, this is my time of year. I'm an October baby, so this dreary weather is kind of my season. And I thank God for it. Uh, it's been a challenging week, but nevertheless, the Father has been good to all of us. I said, I said it's been a week of the men's girl, the fellow said, but God, hallelujah, but God today. So let's, let's pray for a moment again. Thank you for joining us. Father, we praise you, we bless you, we magnify you now, God. God, our heart's desire is to open ourselves unto you today. Our heart's desire is to worship you today, Father, in spirit and the truth. And Father, we magnify you now for being the awesome God that you are, Father God. I bless you for being an amazing and eternal Father. God, you are good. You are good, Father. You are good. You are good. No matter what our situation, our circumstance, we say you are good, Father God. We lift you up this morning. We lift you on high. We say bless yourself. Bless yourself. Bless yourself as we bless you in your presence. We say, Father, we glorify in this place today. Father, we, we, we now reach into each home now, God, and we ask for the spirit of revelation, the spirit of worship, your spirit of praise to enter into their dwelling space right now, Father God. We look at every brother, every father, every child, now, every grandmother, every auntie, every cousin now to, to enjoy your presence at this moment. We thank you for the spirit that the spirit is God. We thank you now for the psalmist that we worship. We thank you for our worship leaders and for the musicians and, and the Levites and God for the word that's going to come forth. God, we thank you a fresh now. God, we bless you in this season. And we say, magnify yourself. Enlarge yourself in our vision. God, we pray our clean hands and pure hearts over all of us, Father God. Even in our homes, Father God. Even in every space that you dwell, Father God. We declare the psalmist and the psalm God is one. God has been our dwelling place in all generations, God. So allow us to dwell in your presence now, God. Allow us to practice, Father God, worship and practice praise and execute before the altar, God, the sacrifice of praise. We bless you now. God, we pray for those even in the season, Father God, that they be dealing with tragedy. And we say, turn their tragedy to triumph. Allow this, Father God, to know you in your goodness, your grace, and your mercy, God. And Father, as we enter into this worship experience, hallelujah, as we profess, as we come into your presence, Father God, we ask you, Lord God, to meet us at this altar. Meet us now at this altar in our praise and in our worship. And we be careful, Father to give you honor, and to give you praise. Be gifted in our understanding. Be gifted in this experience. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let's go to my worship team. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.
God never ceases to amaze me. And I thank God for Levites and worship leaders who can be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to be before you long today, um, but it never amazes me that these guys find that thing in the Holy Spirit as they're led by the even the worship as it went forth was reaffirming of the word that God wanted to release to us today. And I just want to um, exhort us today very briefly, very briefly, but I want to exhort us today on the rededication of the temples. 
Notice the plurality of temples that Yahweh The rededication of the temples and 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 and, and, and mm. the Bible in First Corinthians six and nine, I think it is, says that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You're the temple of the Holy Spirit, and and if you've been following in our broadcasts, we've been sharing. Um, we're on day four of a season that we call Hanukkah. And, and, and as we move into the holidays, I believe I've been led by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, and I'm and I'm, I'm walking in, walking us through Hanukkah, Christmas, and then Kwanzaa toward the end of the year. That we we celebrate the old, we we and through, through our Jewish root, we we understand and we honor our Christ, and then we deal with our cultural experience of Kwanzaa. And I want to walk us through all of these just by way of exhortation. And and, and in this Hanukkah season, as I've been sharing, this is a time for rededication. And, and, as, and, as, and as Minister Pierre and Minister Talita were, were, were ministering the word of God today through song, and, and, and you could hear the heart's cry of the spirit that we belong to him. We belong to him. And I know this has been a tough time. We've been through some tough situations. We've seen death, we've seen destruction, we've seen sickness, we've seen disease, but guess what? We've seen much more victory. We've seen many more healings. My heart is heavy at times because I see friends dying and loved ones dying and, 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 and it's no respect of persons, but I hear you, Holy Spirit, that we've seen much more victory than defeat. And I know some of us have gotten derailed and our living and our giving. Some of us have gotten derailed because we're distracted by all the frustrations of what's happening in our lives. We, we're facing economic situations and everything else, and it's pulling at our hearts. But the Father says, will you rededicate the temple? Will you give yourself to him afresh? You know, in, in the Old Testament, um, the, the temple was that, that central place of worship. And I believe that God is calling us back to him as worshipers. Not just in the corporate sense, but in our day-to-day -day lives. Is there worship in your home? Is there worship right there in your living room? Is there worship even when you're on that assembly line on your job? Is your soul, your spirit still turned toward filling the temple with the presence of the Holy Spirit? I know we've been through a lot. And there are more days to come. Our, 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 our incoming president, our incoming president-elect, uh, Joseph Biden, says that, that we're seeing a dark winter. But can I tell you that the light still shines? The Holy Ghost is still alive and well in your life. Jesus is still King of kings and Lord of lords. And your Father has not forgotten you. I'm telling you, the light still shines and he wants to use you when you rededicate yourself as the temples of God, as the temples of the Holy Spirit. When you begin to speak a word, remember your mouth is key. In this year of 5781, your mouth makes a difference. The mouth of your leadership makes a difference. Change your tone and rededicate your tongue to the Father. Change what you're saying about your family. Change what you're saying about your spouse and your children. Change it and watch it change. Listen to me clearly. Change it and watch it change. Change your words. Come on. The Old Testament, when the temple would be destroyed, it would be because, you know, some, 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 some Gentile force or some marauding force would enter in and tear down everything. And they would tear down and destroy everything that resembled God. Can I tell you this, that the enemy is trying to tear down everything that resembles God in your life? Your worship, your praise, your faith, your belief in him, your trust in him. Can I tell you in this season we can't trust our jobs? We, we can't trust these employers they're going through just like you are. Listen, listen, you were good, you were great, but they had to let you go. Come on, somebody. But if you're dedicated to the source and not the resources, 
If you're dedicated and you light your flame of life for Jesus the Christ, I promise you, he can take care of you. For he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things, everything you need is added to you. And he didn't say I had to go through no job to get it. But he's going to get it to your hands. When we rededicate in the Old Testament, we see where Ezra relayed the foundation and Nehemiah built up the walls. And I'm going to leave you with this and I'm done. I just want to exhort you today to rededicate yourself as the temples. Don't run from it. I know there's confusion, but, but watch this. Ezra, Ezra relayed the foundation. Hmm. And, 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 and Nehemiah came back and rebuilt the walls. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. The foundation is what you build on. The walls are your protection. Hmm. You got to understand this. Watch this. Build your life on Jesus Christ and be ensured that he's a keeper. He'll protect you. He'll put a hedge around you. And he'll keep you through every situation. I know some of us are waking up this morning to news of loved ones who are lost. But watch this. If they died in Christ, they ain't lost. It may, it may, be, it might be hard in our human experience. But if we would just rededicate these temples, and you just give it back to them, can I encourage you to give your children to it? Give your spouse to it. Give everything that, it current, that, that, that concerns you back to him. And cast off everything else. Will you rededicate the temple today? Be that dwelling place for the Holy Spirit. Must go match this thing. And I am available to you. Oh, my storage. My storage is empty. And I am available.
You can't, you can't find it in your family. You can't find your faith in men. You got to find your faith in Jesus the Christ. He's the answer. It's as simple as confessing that you believe that the work that Jesus Christ did for you on Calvary is good enough. Confessing with your mouth and believing with your heart that God has raised him from the dead. And you can enter into this relationship, watch this, with a man you can't even see, and yet you know he's always there. For the spirit, you can't even trace, but yet he makes his abode inside of you. Will you trust him with your life today? Would you trust him with your life today? Would you allow him to begin to order your steps through this pandemic, through this storm? Will you answer God's call today? I'm here to encourage you that the body is standing with you. See, one of the amazing things that happened in the book of Ezra is when they realized the foundation. Watch this. The Bible says that the priests and the Levites and the people begin to praise God for the, watch this, the ladder was greater than the former foundation. Listen, what you're about to walk into in this next season, and I'm telling you, people of God, hear me, hear me clearly. Though chaos will arise, it will be as chaotic. You're going to be solidified in this season. God's not going to let you fall. You're going to be fine. I promise you. I promise you. Stay dedicated to him. Stay dedicated to him. Listen, if you want to support the work of the ministry, you can certainly... Um, um, so into the ministry by texting IFAM, I-F-A-M to 77977 that's I-F-A-M to 77977 we also has ca- have, have cash app available you can cash up I-C-C-K-L-M I kind of messed up the hashtag but stay with it, it works I-C-C-K-L-M <laughs> I-C-C-K-L-M and you can, uh, you can support the work of the ministry if you'd like to sow a seed directly into the into ministry as, as a leader, as a spokesman you can just um, um, uh, cash out dollar sign C more. Listen, we love you. And we pray you enjoy, you've enjoyed this worship experience. We're here for you. If you made a decision for Christ today or if you have any need, listen, just, just send us an inbox. Send, send us a message. Um, call us. Reach out to us. We'll be glad to be there for you. And we just want to say we love you. I want to bless God for this worship team. My God. I want to bless God for these Levites. My God, would you give God a hand of praise for them right in your home, right where you are? Would you celebrate these leaders? They're coming out and they're sacrificing to bring this worship broadcast to you. And we want to thank God for them being in place and serving as they have served for, for years and years we've been walking together. And I thank God for their dedication. Listen, would you rededicate the temple? Rededicate yourself to it. I know some of us have lost our way and some of us are off track. That's okay. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with being in a place unless you decide to stay in that place. Come on, my And allow God to be worshipped in your life afresh. Rededicate your temples today. And Father, we thank you for all of the viewers who've been with us today and all who will see this broadcast and broadcast and replay. Bless them now as they move forward in their day and with their lives. Continue to keep us and walk with us. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Again, we thank you for being a part of the Impact Experience in this refreshing broadcast. Until next time, we'll see you. God bless you. My storage. My storage. My storage, my storage.